Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all well. Sorry, it's been three whole weeks since uh, I last did a video. But the reason why it's been three weeks is because I really needed to focus on my book when I was reading it. And I'll explain why, but first obviously to show you which book I've been reading, it is Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, uh, with Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. Now, with, as you know, I have read the various Mortal Instrument books, um, The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare, and then my, the previous book that I read for this channel was The Brain, the, not The Brain, <laughs> The Bane Chronicles, um, which was Cassandra writing with uh, Sarah and Maureen as a series of short stories to show um, backstory about Magnus Bain and then she did this collection of short stories which um, with Sarah and Maureen again and recruited Robin as well to um, help construct each of the short stories with her and then after this book is when it goes into Lady Midnight, the first of the, the next trilogy of, of books so it's kind of standalone but it's also very important for you to read in order for events going forward. Okay, so I went into this book thinking it's going to be like the Bane Chronicles, you know, these are going to be um, interesting stories, I'll be able to tell uh, the influence of the second writer uh, on Cassandra's work and everything, it'll just be a collection of short stories, you know, kind of thing. And even though I knew that there was this sort of running narrative, I thought it was going to be like minor kind of running underneath these short stories that wasn't the case this was like a proper novel we were following the character of simon who has been um sent to the shadow hunter academy well the first short story is him actually saying goodbye to everyone and actually arriving at the academy and meeting people and everything and then it probably you know takes off um but he basically follows Simon throughout the whole time he's um, at the Academy and then the Ascension Ceremony, which is a ceremony to decide whether he gets to be a Shadow Hunter or not, because you basically study and everything and then you have this ceremony that you have to go through and the angels decide whether you are worthy to um, become a Shadow Hunter. So it's all about this time in the Academy. And as I said, I thought it was going to be short stories with that as the underlying current. It's not in the slightest. That is the dominant thing. Because each of the short stories are either events that happened to Simon throughout the course of his time at the Academy, or they are short stories in the form of lectures that um, he and you know his fellow Academy um, friends and all that lot are having to sit in, having to learn about. So I was a bit like, okay, I, that was unexpected. And then I've, I realised, probably not too far in, that you can't really see the influence of the other writers on Cassandra's work, just like you could with Bane Chronicles. Uh, so it kind of very much feels that this is Cassandra kind of threw out just as with her other her other novels and everything so that was that was very interesting when you compare it to Bane Chronicles the only one I suppose you could say you could really kind of feel an influence um was one a short story the fiery trial that's it sorry I couldn't quite remember the title in my head because that one is really great like high on drugs crazy kind of stuff going on but there's a whole reason why and you understand that at the end of the end of the story which to it totally makes sense um but other than that the rest of the stories i could totally see it as if you had taken off those other names i would have totally believed that that was just cassandra writing it it honestly just felt like one of her her other books um which I see is a good thing that you you know you can't necessarily see the influence of another writer on um, the, this writer who built this world who we've gone through what about ten books already with. Whereas if you look at the main chronicles, you can see you know that influence. So yeah, I see that as a strength. I thought it was very well constructed uh, and. It's very interesting, right? I'm gonna. This may sound a bit odd, but I'm gonna say it. I feel 
that this book, the reason why I took three weeks reading it was that I could not skim a single page. Because sometimes, you know, like if you're in the evening and you're rather tired, you might just find yourself sort of skim reading a few pages before you, you know, or something before you go to bed. Um, usually with Cassandra's books, it's not that big a deal if you've skim read a couple of pages. It's really not. This, I felt like I had to pay attention to every single word, every single page. So as soon as I was feeling a bit tired in that evening, I would just stop reading um because I, I knew I wouldn't be able to give my full attention to it when I really needed to so even though I'd be staying awake for like another hour or two I just I knew because my eyes were tired I wasn't going to take it in so I wasn't going to risk missing anything so thus it took me three weeks to read my sister finished it I finished this early yesterday morning and my sister finished it like the day before and it had taken her like four weeks. And she had she said the exact same thing. It was that thing of you really have to focus what is being said in this book. And I very much feel that Cassandra took a very interesting step. This wasn't her usual um, formula in a sense, in regards to the use of language, the tone of the book, um, compared to her other ones, this felt very adult. She has said, you know, it was like she was saying through the forms of these these short stories, these lectures, these conversations that uh, that people have in this book. It's like she's gone, right, you think you know my world that I have built up over like 10 books? you don't understand this this is real i literally i could read all of the previous books and imagine a, the world is in a bubble it's in a bubble and it's right there this time i felt like i it it was a part of my world i was in it i you know it was 3d i could touch it i could smell it, it you know it wasn't just a world in a bubble anymore and it went pretty dark at, at quite a few places, um, which I didn't necessarily expect. There was conversations, very adult conversations, about very serious issues, which I didn't anticipate we were going to have. And the fact that Simon, who is, what, he's about 18 at this point, 19, um is having this eye-opening experience and taking it on board. And he has issues with these conversations and he, he talks about it and he's confused and he's irritated at times, um, but it's so grounded, it's so human, it's so real. So much so that I, when I finished it yesterday morning, I had a conversation with my sister over Facebook Messenger about it. And I felt like I couldn't make this video. I honestly could not make this video yesterday. Um, it, I just, I didn't have the words. I couldn't believe what I had just read. I had, I've had to take 24 hours to really think about it. And I still feel, I still feel it. I still feel the power of it. Cassandra, as always, the ending just completely ripped out my heart. Uh, that's, that's the weird thing about Cassandra's book. She makes me go through the most horrific pain. Yeah, I'm very thankful for her for doing it. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, she, she's, she's, very, she's very good at, you know, that. That I... I'm really taken aback by the step that it's taken. And now with the next book, Lady Midnight, which my sister got for my for my birthday, so I have got a copy of that. I can start the 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 next trilogy. I have a feeling that because she changed the tone in this book, I think she's gonna change the tone in Lady Midnight as well. I think this new generation this new um, area, because it's the LA Institute, not the New York Institute, I think it's giving her, or it's going to give her, should I say, because I've not read it, um, 
a fresh start. When I say fresh start, I don't mean she's going to wipe away everything, all the work that she's done and the world that she's built up because she thinks it's negative or anything. Not the case. It's not what I mean at all. I think it's that thing. She's got a brand new slate. And if she wants to take it into this more adult complexity, I'm all for that. I am totally all for that. I I think it's going to be very, very interesting very interesting and i'm quite intrigued to read lady lady midnight now that i i'm i'm glad i've got another book already planned before the possibility of me reading it because i need i need to cleanse my palate i need to have a step away from the shadow hunter world for a bit and especially because of the so powerful powerful last two three pages of of tales of the shadow hunter academy i was I was so, I went through every emotion under the sun in those three pages. I mean, I was ranting at the choice that Cassandra Clare made, and then I completely understood why she made it. And then because of something that happens in those pages, I'm like, oh my God, Cassandra, is you are seriously trying to kill me. Um, you know, that thing of like, you want like almost like this is going to sound really bad but you know i'm going to go with it almost like you really want to punch her for putting you through some through so much pain and then you want to punch her as in as a you know say thank you bless you for putting me through this pain but damn it you know kind of it's just like she is so brilliant at her craft she the way that she tells you know oh depicts that's the word i couldn't think of what the word was um depicts different characters and even with very little information she gives you so much and she really immerses you in in the world but yeah this one took a step to a level of realism that she hasn't done previously um like i said the world is not in a bubble in my head anymore it's organic it is right there because she touched into more complex human emotion than she has done previously in her books not that she wasn't ever able to touch human emotion because that's not the case because you know i wouldn't be feeling so passionate uh, about her and her writing if if uh, if it was a case of that she was completely void of emotion i just mean i think she's taking the step from young adult complexities that you you know tend to see to more adult complexities and it's she's reflecting i think her audience which i really respect her for doing um so i can only say bravo for for what you did in this book cassandra and the fact that i completely paced myself i didn't want to miss a single page i knew i had to completely focus in order to Get, take in what she's trying to tell me um i yeah i didn't rush it i didn't skim reads you know kind of stuff when i was feeling maybe a bit tired in an evening i completely and utterly respected her words as much as physically physic, you know possible that i could and i think that says something about the power of the writing in this book i really do um so yeah, I think Cassandra did an amazing job, along with, of course, uh, Sarah, Maureen, and Robin. Um, all of them that yeah, they work together brilliantly. As I said, you couldn't really see the distinction between Cassandra and the other writers. Um, but I think what she's done with this one in particular, it, I'm I'm. I'm really, really impressed, seriously impressed with what she's done with this. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting going into Lady Midnight, the first of the next trilogy with the next generation. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Rhys Brennan, Maureen Johnson and Robin Wasman. Uh, I, yeah, I think all of them, all four should be applauded. And as I said, you know, I kind of, I realised near the end of that, I was kind of going on about Cassandra, the brilliance of Cassandra, because all, all of them were involved with writing, so they're all absolutely brilliant. Um, but I, 
yeah, I think the craft of it and what, you know, obviously Cassandra wanted to say something in particular and what she has said and the power that that means going forward. It's, wow, fantastic. Fan bloody tastic. And I loved every minute of reading it. But anyway, those are my thoughts on Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy. Have you read this book? I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comments box below, or you can give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, and tell it to you on the other side. And uh, as you guys know, I've already announced what my next book is going to be, which is Children of the Blood and Bones, a fantasy um, young adult book which is set amongst African tribes. So I think that's going to be very interesting. So I'll be back with my thoughts on that as soon as I am done. All right, guys. Bye.